It reeks in here. It is so bad. It's 92 outside today and we are opening the door. Because another project, another disaster at the Page House. We are taking down these big mirrors, there were big mirrors here, and we're going to take them down and put smaller ones, more pretty ones as Amanda would say. <laughs> but the problem is we pulled the mirror off the wall and there's these big black gloops of something and they were really thick. And when the mirrors were fully attached to the wall, like you could push on them and you could tell they actually were not attached, like they were just sitting on that bottom bar. And Kyle went with his like shims to try to pry the mirror off and it just immediately like fell forward. Like it was not even closely attached because what Kyle's gonna show you. Yeah, normally they take, they take adhesive, silicone, some type of construction adhesive, put a few globs on here. And then there's a metal rail that they screw to the bottom and then the mirror sits in this rail and then the, the globs of adhesive to keep it on the wall so it doesn't fall forward. Anyway, if you pull, this mirror off and it's this black crumbly I mean this is not this is not silicone it's not adhesive it's just some weird black crumbly and it's brittle stuff yeah but it's it's so weird and so I, I didn't know I didn't know what to do with it I tried just pulling it off of the wall but it was taking all the texture and drywall off with it so it was going to cause a lot of damage pulling it off and thought well let's put a heat gun to it and see what happens. And as soon as you put heat to it, it just scrapes off. It starts to like bubble. It's like liquidy, yeah, it's tar. They use tar. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's roofing tar. I'm guessing that when they were putting up the mirror, the guy in the truck was like, you know, they were like, oh, we didn't have glue. Yeah, they're like, oh, oh we're out of glue. some extra whatever in the truck. Or hey, the roofers are up. Let's just <laughs> this will be steal hidden. some tar from them, <laughs> yeah. And so it's, it's horrible. We just spent the last hour or so Heating up and scraping and heating up and scraping. Yeah. And heating up and scraping. And so we got it this far, but all the texture now is filled in with tar. So mm -hmm. the plan, if it works, hopefully, we're going to go down to Home Depot. We're going to get a big box of shop rags. And then we're going to heat it up again and then just try to wipe as much of this clean as we can. Yeah. And see what happens. But on a more exciting note, we're also going to pick some pavers for outside. <laughs> I'm just doom and gloom today. You just never know what you're going to find. No. When you pull stuff off, you just never know. Things have been done really weird around the house, but you would expect that all the mirrors would have been put on the same way. All the things like would have been done the same way, all the similar items. But it's like we've had so many, so Certainly much variation, not. even with just the mirrors alone, like how the bathroom mirrors have been put on. It's like every bathroom is done differently. It's... Yeah. Pretty bizarre. So yeah, we'll head to Home Depot, get the things we need, and pick the cute little pavers. Oh, let me show you actually while we're here. I'll show you where we're gonna put the pavers. Okay, so obviously over there on the left we have the yard. Over here, or pff, not the yard, the pool. I can't think. Over here we have the yard. We did have a play set and the boys just never played in it, so we ended up just giving that to someone. But right here, between our frostbitten palm trees, they are coming back. They're just looking a bit crunchy for now. But right here, it's like you just have the rocks, but there's clearly a big opening. So we're just gonna put a couple pavers so that you can kind of walk from the pool area to the grass. Cause normally show what we do. Normally like we're barefoot. Oh, the kids? Yeah, well we're barefoot. And so it's like, we'd go there and we try to like jump into the yard. Yes, it's more like, Ow, 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 ow. And then you make it. But. Or if it's summer, like you don't, because you don't want to step where the scorpions could be in the yard, like <laughs> or in the true. in the gravel. Yeah. Put two pavers right here. Yeah. That'll be easy. Move the rocks, stick them in. Yeah. We should maybe just measure like how far it is to see if we need like two or three. I think two would be plenty. Two yeah. Well, just like depending how big they are, but yeah, I guess so. Okay. Oh, and then Kyle has our little owls out because why? I know the birds keep eating my bird or my grass seed. Yeah. Last year I put, I don't know the dollar amount, it was a lot of grass seed. Like two bags or something. Yeah, two bags. And the birds came out and ate it all last year. Yeah. They were just like a bunch of turds. Enjoying what we laid out for them. So now we put these little fake owls out and they kind of they kind of work. Yeah. I don't know. They work 
pretty good. The grass is looking a lot better this year, so that's good. Yeah, so Kyle had to like re-grass seed this, and it's actually starting to come in a little patchy, but it's coming in. This is where like the slide and the sand pit and stuff was. And then we had a big frost but a bunch of our bushes had actually died from the frost. It's so funny that it was like 115 degrees for like 30 or something like days in a row. It was so insane last summer. And they were like, that's fine. It was over 110 for 34 days in a row, yeah. I think. And then the winter, it was below freezing. I think it was four nights we got yeah. frost and just died. Yeah. Everything and died. And all the plants were like, uh, yeah. and like just along the street, you can just see like palms were dead, like. Yeah, so this, so this bush died and I replaced it with, I call them my hibiscus babies because they're hibiscus <laughs> bushes. And they're getting nice little flowers. Yeah. I put these in about a week ago. They had no buds at all. No. And there's a bunch now. That one died too. And that then this one, one actually bush. used to be really big, but we had, we cut it down. We cut everything down because it was all frost burn. Yeah, so this one came back. Yeah, these big came roses. Back. And then he put that one in. That's another hibiscus baby. Hibiscus baby. Normally we have bushes that cover our whole fence, but those all were frostburnt too. Those are all coming back though. Yeah. But we had to trim them all down because they were all damaged. Anyway, okay. Now let's go to Home Depot. Which one are you thinking to get? I don't know, which which do you think would be better for wiping that? Here's painter's rags, which are a little more coarse, but they wouldn't fall apart. I was originally thinking these, but they're more paper towel-y. I think they'll rip apart. Yeah, yeah or they have towels. microfiber cloths too. Or a six pack of these microfiber mm. towels. It's gonna destroy. Oh, these are the gross kind that make your fingers feel weird. It's gonna destroy, oh yeah. I hate those. I don't mind it. You don't? I know, doesn't that seem like something I would hate? But no. You like the feel of clay too, that's so weird. Yeah, like I could just rub a piece of pottery. <laughs> it sounds weird. <laughs> it's just satisfying. It's, it's like uh, kind like of rough, so kind of It's so dry smooth. to me. I like it. Super random, but these like anti-fatigue ma maps, mats are super nice. my favorite area with all the pretty plants. It's even hot in here. The truck said 92 on the way down. Oh really? We're getting into summer. Yep. It's coming. And I love it. I do too. It's my favorite time of year here. Me too actually. It's surprisingly. <laughs> Alright so we're looking for beavers. Oh here we go. This is what? Oh, oh yeah. 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 You don't I like do that? No. Just rub it. You ever do your fingernails? Ugh, that makes oh, me sick. Oh yeah. My gosh, Kyle, you are I wrong. Am Go ahead, finish. Wrong. I don't even know the word oh, for it. I like it. it. That's satisfying. Okay, gross. That's so, uh, like, makes me sick. Does it? Yeah, stop it. <laughs> All right, back to pavers. Aw, we should get a bird bath. I would Can love a bird bath. Put little owls out to scare the birds away. Only during grass seed season. Ooh, we're gonna get a peach tree today. Why are we gonna put a peach tree? I don't it's know. It's only six feet, which would be awesome because we don't have a lot of yeah. yard space. We should get two. <laughs> well, the where do you put them? That's the problem. That looks so cool. Peach and avocado awesome. tree. Oh, I just want all the trees. I think you can grow avocados here. Our, I guess you can. They grow them in California, right? Yeah, they grow them here too. Like down, down south. My hibiscus, this is what the flowers are gonna look like. So pretty, you got the red ones? It's literally from here, the same ones, yeah. Well, cause like there's some pink. Mine had pink tags, but apparently, uh -oh. well, I don't know, maybe they had red tags. I don't know. Oh, this is the same plant. Oh no, it's not. Look at the flowers yeah. that are gonna go on We have those. one by the pool, it's so pretty. Yeah. Ooh, these are pretty. All right, here's some step stones. These are like huge. We don't need anything even close to that. Yeah, not, not like those, like this size maybe, but. It'd be cute if they had like a little hexagon or something. Those, those are, are kind of cool. cool. I like them. That'd be way better than regular yeah, squares. Yeah, look, this is how they look. One, well, we would just have two. And they're, what, 10 bucks each? Yeah. 
That's well, expensive for these. Like these ones are just one dollar each. That's pretty cool. These but not too bad if you only need two. We only need two. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Really cool. I like it. So we did that and that's done. We did that and that's done. All right, so we're back home and Kyle's using the heat gun. We got like the big chunks of that stuff off, but he's just like using the heat gun and then using the towel to kind of like wipe it off. Seems to be working fairly well. Here, look at this one. Not too bad, huh? Yeah. Maybe we'll finish this one and then let's paint this and see if the texture's all off. Yeah. Because this is a different texture or if it'll, wow, that's hot, or if it'll just paint it. And that would be covered. nice if we wouldn't have to like retexture everything. Yeah. You can just get most of this off. So mm -hmm. I think if you know where the paint is. It'd be a good tester because the mirror's going to go over this one. So it'd be a good test. So let's test this. If this works, then we can do this. It'll just take an hour. Okay or more to do every single one, but sounds good. There we go. Also, it turns out painter's rags is just a bunch of different materials. Oh. Of a bunch of different rags, which is fine. That's interesting. But. Like some look like shirts or something. It's not one uniform yet. It must just be leftovers from factories or whatever. Hmm. Oh yeah. Cotton t-shirt material, like kind of whatever. Yeah, just kind of whatever. I'm also going to see if I can clean it, so I have like a magic eraser and we'll see if that kind of cleans it up. Nope, that was pretty much wasted, but we'll let this cool and dry and then I'll just paint over this and see how it looks. That's a good workout. I think that's probably good. Oh. So this is pale oak. Let's see. Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. It's just the color we have like throughout most of the house. That's awesome because it's looking like, like you can see the darkness obviously under like the one coat, but yeah. you can't see like the texture looks good. Yeah, that's, that would be the concern is the texture difference does it show through the paint. Sometimes yeah. it does, sometimes it doesn't. It really doesn't look like it's going to. We'll see, but it doesn't look like it. All right, so it dried and I painted the second coat on it and like the texture actually looks really nice on it. And you can't see like a different sheen or anything like that once the paint's over it. And it, with two coats, it did cover like the little bit of darkness from the tar adhesive that was on there so i think we should be good to go and now we just have to like we'll kind of work probably together on it and we can heat it and wipe it off together like each one and we have one two three five eight eleven twelve thirteen seventeen twenty two three only 24 little patches to go one down Like a couple days later, I actually have my microphone because I'm about to head into my closet because the house doesn't seem super loud right now, but it gets there. Anyway, I'm about to head in my closet and do the voiceover for just an upcoming video. So I'm about to go do that, but I wanted to show you guys something. So excuse the mess. This is just our guest room. I actually sold the last two dressers that I got for this room. One I got like a year or something ago. You guys know we just did that in um, a recent This Crazy Life video and I finally refinished it. I just made myself get around to refinishing it but I originally got it but it was like a little bit too wide for the wall. At that point I wasn't all the time carrying a measuring tape with me in my purse and so I just took their measurements as that's what it was and somehow the measurements, I don't know, they didn't have it right. And so when we got home, it was like too wide for the space. So 
then, <laughs> that's why I do the voiceover in my closet. Anyway, and then I got a different dresser and although the size was better, I just, once I refinished it, I just didn't love the style of it. You guys will see that in the next This Crazy Life video where like I actually finish refinishing it and I like how it turned out, but it still just like wasn't the vibe of this room. So I ended up selling that one today as well. So I did get um, like our money back and I made a little bit cause I did refinish them. But guess what? I had to tell Kyle that <laughs> I found a new dresser to get. Thankfully, this one was really close and it was $50, so it's like the same price that I paid for the other two. But look how pretty this is. Okay, now that I said all that, I'm gonna turn you around and show you this one. This is the dresser that I got. How cute is that? I love the front legs on it and these little poles right here. I just think it's so pretty. I've already filled it. <laughs> now I just stack some things in here, like my Artica stuff. But how pretty is this? I am going to change this drawer liner out, but it's in really good shape. And it's just like the cutest little dresser. It fits perfectly here. I think I might end up refinishing it. I feel like you can never see fully on camera, but there is quite a bit of wear on it. It actually kind of is okay because it's such an older dresser, but I don't love like the color of it. So, I might see if I can kind of refinish this one a little bit, but yeah, voila, we got a third dresser. So the dresser saga continues, but I think this is actually going to be the end of it just because I really love, love how this one looks. The other thing is kind of recently I had asked what we should do with our old nightstands just because like they are really nice nightstands. So many of you had recommended that we tried to put them in the guest room and I didn't even think about it because they are a little bit wider and the guest room is just not that big of a room and so I didn't even like think of it but once you guys said that I ended up pulling them out and putting them in here and they fit. They are, you know, again, like that farmhouse style. So I am going to refinish those, but I'm thinking I might retique them like I did on like our dresser in our bedroom, which is actually the same from the same set. But look how pretty that is. So anyway, it's coming together in here. There are a few pieces now that I need to refinish, but I just feel like now we have the furniture pieces in here that I actually really want. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of end the vlog here because I need to go finish up that video for tomorrow. Also, I think we're going to try to put in a peach tree in the backyard. So maybe we'll do that this week. And if we do, we'll share that with you guys. But if you guys have any ideas on like where to put it, I don't know. We're kind of struggling with that. It's not a very big tree. It's like six feet tall which for a tree obviously isn't huge, but I hope you guys had a fun just kind of hanging out and seeing some of the behind the scenes. I'm so excited. Let me know what you think of this dresser. I just think it's so cute. I love this thing. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.